All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, so I've been getting flooded with DMs across every single one of my platforms from people that are trying to help with the hurricane relief effort. So I wanted to make a longer video with all of these different DMs that can help people link up and coordinate in the comments and like share and like talk to amongst each other to be able to figure out where they need to go and where they can go to be helpful and what supplies are needed and like where the supplies are needed and uh, which where, what places need Starlink and all that stuff. So we're going to talk about that here and we'll get right into it. So uh, first one is uh, my my husband is a master operator and a former pipeliner. He can run any piece of equipment. He can haul equipment from there from Arizona. Or he can fly there and operate if there's equipment for him. We want him. We want to be able to volunteer, but everything we are seeing is that people are being turned away, which isn't true. It's not 100 percent true. There's some there's some in inaccuracies there. Um, where where can he go that he won't get turned around? He just wants to go with very skilled hands. Uh, much love and respect, Ben Curry. Um, Post it in his email. So if you want, if you need some help from somebody that's got these types of skills, go to e or email info at earthboundexv.com. Reach out to him, ask him, like coordinate with him, figure out how how he can help. All right, next one. Uh, it says, from a friend of my parents on Facebook, this area, Yancey County, which is like Black Mountain, uh, it's close to Spruce Pine, uh, Mount Mitchell, uh, Burnsville, all those types of like places in that area. He said, it's not getting much press, but it's really bad there. My friend works for the fire department there and told me that they have 500 body bags already and they're all full. Uh, they have some help from the National Guard and some back roads are opening up. However, this is a very rural community that has a lot of animals and those supplies are in a serious need. A local effort here is, is sending hay and feed, but they need livestock supplies such as antibiotics for animals, doxycycline, amoxicycline, or amoxicillin, sorry. Uh, wound coatings like blue coat, scarlet oil, bandages, vet wrap, dewormers, pre probiotics for chickens and waterfowl. So keep it in mind, a lot of these places are like agricultural. There's a lot of farmland, a lot of animals, a lot of livestock. Uh, don't forget to like donate that kind of stuff when you're able to. And Yancey County, I know they're having a real hard time. Obviously, they need body bags. Um, the more body bags, the better. So that way they're not just sitting out and decomposing out in the open because that is a horrible smell. And no, like we got it. We got help with, we got to We got to get that stuff taken care of. That's, that's a very important thing. So, uh, Burnsville, like I said, Burnsville, Bernardsville, all those places up near there. All right. Next one. Uh, it says, hi, Mr. Dunlap. I'm uh, Sergeant William Fowler with one twenty two fifty two armor in the North Carolina Ang. Uh, my unit is out of Western North Carolina, a small town around Asheville. A lot of the towns have distribution sites, but they need more food, more pet food, more livestock food, along with canned goods. Please put the word out for us. Thank you. Okay, same thing. Like people need non perishables. They still need a lot of food and livestock feed for their animals all over the place in the small towns that are skirting around the outside of Asheville, North Carolina, because there's a lot of like agricultural places. So don't forget to donate that kind of stuff. All right, next thing, uh, guy says, hey, left Bluffton, South Carolina this morning en route to Boone and Banner Elk with generators, fuel, Starlink kits, and diabetic food and supplies. Meeting a small group of friends there doing aid and search and rescue. If you have anyone who is missing persons, needing assistance, or we can check in anyone out of comms, please share my cell. Okay, so if you if you have anybody up in the in the uh, Boone or Banner Elk area that's like missing persons, or you're trying to coordinate stuff, reach out to uh, reach out to this guy here, Chris England, and he'll help you coordinate. If you have search and rescue skills, also reach out to this guy if you can contribute your services or you have any way of getting air in to the area, or coordinating to do that. All right, next one it says. Um, I work with some. I work some up in Burnsville. And was finally able to talk to my people on Tuesday. I'm in Hickory and trying to get up there, but not sure what route is best or even open. I usually go through Marion and then up the mountain through Little Switzerland, uh, but I can about imagine that road is demolished. Let me know what route you think is best from Hickory. Um, I was in Trade, Tennessee, and Cove Creek area in Watauga County yesterday, and they need supplies as well as the Creston area. This guy Ballard Boys is on Instagram. Reach out to this guy on Instagram if you if you can help him coordinate how to get to uh Little Switzerland or Burnsville and, and areas that like roads that are open or closed and stuff like that. So reach out to him on Instagram. All right. Next one is uh hey sir I'm getting uh, period supplies, pads, tampons to folks in Mountain City, Tennessee and get reports that women and children are washing their underwear in creeks cuz they don't have water or electricity. Currently that's the case all over that that part of the state in Tennessee and also in North Carolina. Um 
I'm I'm also hearing that people are using socks for pads. They're out of tampons. If you can get any stuff up into uh, West Main Street, Mountain City, Tennessee, do that. Uh, I know Asheville and all the surrounding areas. If they're like, I, I guarantee you that if they need pads and tampons up there, they're going to definitely need pads and tampons in other areas of the state as well. So just remember that. Keep that in mind if you're trying to donate supplies that they're going to need pads. They're going to need tampons. They're going to need hygiene products like baby wipes. Baby wipes is a real big one because there's no showers. There's no way to, to bathe other than like in the creek. Right. So uh, keep that stuff in mind. All right. Next one. Radio station Kiss 99. Point nine Kiss Country is putting out info for anyone in the mountains who needs help. Those who are on site can tune in so they know where to be of service. Keep that in mind. If you don't know where to go to help or to contribute, just turn on 99.9 Kiss Country and they'll be providing information throughout the day as to like areas that you can go to help. Uh, don't forget, like I've got a GoFundMe going right now for uh, that's linked to Mountain Projects Incorporated, which is out of Waynesville, North Carolina. It's a nonprofit organization out of Waynesville, and we've raised a little bit over ten grand so far. We're going to continue to. Uh, I think that they get the money at the fifteenth of the month. They'll get the first deposit. So keep pushing on that stuff because that's going to help people directly on the ground everywhere west of Asheville. Um, another another piece here. They need one pound propane bottles. Pro- propane tanks out in Burnsville. And if you can get them out to the West Burn- Burnsville Baptist Church in Burnsville, North Carolina, they're collecting those up there. It's probably to help people boil water, cook food, things of that nature. So uh, West Burnsville Baptist Church, get them one pound propane tanks. All right, next one, it says, hey, brother, I'm in Ash from the direct, the security director for the site, which Duke is using as a command post. We have over two, 200,000 or 2,000 people on site from linemen to tree guys and all the support elements. The first four days we were in was like a black hole. Comms are surely but or slowly but surely coming back up. Tonight is the first time I've had internet in a week. City leadership is a joke. APD is being supplemented with officers from Greensboro due to officer shortages. Private citizens and groups have done more aid distribution than anyone. Power is slowly being restored. Water situation is a nightmare. Like I said, there's the water is completely off, but I think electricity is turned on to a lot of the city. Um, internet is slowly getting back on like the, 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 uh, the mobile towers are slowly starting to get back up. So that's good. Um, let's see. Trash removal is dead. So if you've got dump trucks or large flatbed trucks that you can load trash and pull it out of the city and bring to dumps and other areas outside of the, the affected areas, that is one thing that the fire departments need out there with help with relief efforts. Um, let's see what else. Volunteers are coming in from all over the county, but more is needing included needed, including dogs. APD's dogs are needing to be rested and cleared because they've smelled so many bodies and corpses that are decomposing. They can't distinguish between living people and the dead. North Carolina National Guards in the area as well. Reach out for updates if you're in touch with anyone wanting to come up and help. Um, obviously, they need body bags. They need a lot of body bags because all the morgues are completely filled. They've been filled since Saturday. They've ran out of body bags everywhere, but there's just like corpses decomposing on the side of the roads and trenches in the rivers, like in trees that were washed up. So body bags is another big thing to, to think about when trying to contribute. So if you know anybody anywhere else that can contribute body bags, get large, large amounts of body bags sent out there. All right, next one is, I hope you will relay the message that people wanting help should go to each of the county government Facebook pages. These contain the most up-to-date announcements with current needs, such as Unicoi County EMA posting a long list earlier today. Additionally, state government websites have links to the organizers who are gathering volunteers for, for donation sites and for cleanup, including those needing heavy equipment experience and chainsaws that are deploying as early as this weekend. Plus, they have open slash closed roadmap links on the websites. Um, they're just coordinating to help. Like, so find the, the government websites, the government Facebook groups for all these organizations throughout Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, Northern Georgia, things like that. And, and look and see what the government is saying about like where the help's needed. So you can coordinate that way. Another thing, a guy named Craig's love, Craig loves catfishing on TikTok. He says, Hey buddy, I've got a truck and a dump trailer. Would you help me where I can need to get, like find out where I need to go, where I can help with the cleanup? If you need a guy that's got a dump trailer and a truck that can help like pull debris out and clean up, uh, send Craig loves catfishing on TikTok. Send him a message. All right. Last one right here. All right. The Bakersville, Bakersville Fire Department is requesting contact because they need, um, 
They need Starlink access badly. Same thing with Bernardsville. So if you guys have anybody that's providing Starlink to the areas, reach out to this guy, Cor Huff, uh, out of uh, Bakersville Fire Department. And we we need to get them Starlink. That way they can start con- connecting and coordinating with relief efforts and they can communicate with people that are like locked in their homes or isolated and all these like smaller towns out in the mountains and stuff like that. Cause that's the big thing that's hard right now is all the small towns are completely disconnected. Still, they don't have any cell service and we need to be able to coordinate with relief efforts so that the small helicopters and, and all these other folks are able to bring supplies to them that they need and, and be able to coordinate where to drop off and everything like that. So, all right. That's it for now. Um, I'm going to post this and get this out here. Uh, Just go through this, share this information with everybody, disseminate to everybody, so that way we can continue to help each other. Obviously, as more updates come out, I will uh, continue to try to release as much as I can. The big thing right now, like I said, is uh, medical supplies. Um, They need body bags. They need like toiletries really bad everywhere. Uh, Pet and uh, livestock uh, feed, stuff like that for all these surrounding small towns. Um, clean drinking water is a big one, uh, non-perishable food items, things like that. And anything else that, that, that can like help in areas where there's no water. Cause the water is still cut off to a lot of these areas and, uh, they, they just don't have, they don't have a means to, to bathe or to shave or to clean themselves up. So baby wipes, another big one, baby wipes, hygiene products, feminine hygiene products like tampons and pads, um, things like that. So, also, a big thing, like I said, the dump, like trash removal, is a, is huge is a huge problem right now everywhere, and they're needing they're needing that really badly. So, if you own a dump truck or you own any type of large trucks that can pull debris out and bring them out to other like dumping locations, then that is a big thing to reach out to. Reach out to your local the local fire departments everywhere. That would be the place I would start. Would be local fire departments and the local nonprofit organizations that are like located through the entire region, like Hearts with Hands, um, or uh, Mountain Projects Incorporated. They're they're a good organization to reach out to. Also, um, I know Save Our Allies is up there right now with Tim Kennedy, and they're doing some work to help people out. So reach out to them if you want to help contribute to their mission. Um, there's a lot of folks out there doing a lot of good. The big thing about this is like right now. Uh, they're keeping it at the state level. And so a lot of civilians are doing a lot to help. So keep up the good work and use the comment section as a way to communicate with each other and coordinate with each other. So that way you can get help to areas that need the help um, and try not to spread information, disinformation. If you can, there's a lot of information going all over the place. Um, some of it's accurate. Some of it's not uh, chim- the, the chimney rock situation. Not all of that's accurate. You, you got to verify this stuff with people personally. Um, I know d- that Chimney Rock is not safe, so don't travel to Chimney Rock by yourself. Um, I wouldn't travel anywhere by yourself right now. If you're going anywhere, travel in big groups of like six to ten people. Um, that way you're you're safe because there are some folks like bad actors trying to take advantage of the situation. Uh, so just be safe out there. Coordinate with each other, work together, continue to try to do good things to help the community and help provide aid for people that are in trouble. And and we'll see you next time. And I'll try to keep, you know, I'll try to keep coordinating as best as I can.